Welcome to the new episode of How to Electronics and in today's video we will learn all about RGB LED strip. So the RGB LED strip is having three different colors that is red, green and blue color and with the combination of these three colors you can generate any other color whatever you like. So we will use an Android app and a Bluetooth module. So there is a communication between Android app and a Bluetooth module as master and slave communication and we will control the LED colors using simple android app as shown here and on the next slide what we will do is we will simply generate a rolling effect and a filling effect of the led so without wasting any time let's get started this is the rgb led strip that i recently purchased from the amazon the purchase link is given in the description below it comes with four wires with RGB color and a white color LED wire which is usually the 12 volt BCC. So when you stretch this wire it looks something like this. There are cutting marks between the LEDs and between the cutting marks there are three SMD package LED and also the three SMD registers. Between the two cutting marks there are LED package of 5050 SMD and also three registers. The strips operates at 12 volt power supply. It has a 3M double sided adhesive. You can simply stretch this LED strip as it comes with 5 meter length. The width is generally 10 mm and because of this it has a better heat dissipation capacity and chances of failures are very slow. As I already said it has 4 wires, white for 12 volt BCC and red, green, blue wire which need to be grounded using microcontroller digital pin. Let's see. SMD5050 package. This chip is the light source. This 5050 has three chips which are for RGB color. So the brightness is too high compared to the single chip. So as shown in the mark you can directly connect the strip to power supply and microcontroller pin in case you have few LEDs. But in case if you have high LEDs you need some other logic. The back side of this strip has double sided conducted copper PCB which has a good heat dissipation. So now let's check the power consumption of this LED strip. So with different colors the power consumption will go different. So with white color the power consumption will go around 1 ampere. So with red it's 600 milliampere and with green, orange, blue, light blue, yellow and purple the power consumption is something different as you can see here. So let's see the power requirement by the Arduino. So the current by the digital output pin of Arduino is 200 milliampere. But the current by RGB LED strip is 330 milliampere for each channel and 1.66 ampere per channel for a 5 meter LED strip. So what to do in this case? So we have few solutions here. So we need to use a power transistor of TIP120, TIP121 or TIP122 or use an N-channel MOSFET called IRF2807, IRF530 or IRF Z44. So this will amplify the current. In my case, I am going with IRF540 and N-channel MOSFET which has gate, drain and source terminal. So you can see the circuit how I have connected the IRF540 and MOSFET. It gate terminal is connected to the PWM pins of Arduino and Drain is connected to the RGB LED strip. Source is grounded. We have connected SC06 Bluetooth module to TX and RX pin for UART communication. The RGB LED strip is connected to 12 volt external power supply. So this is how we have connected exactly the same as shown in the circuit diagram. Arduino Uno board is connected to SC06 Bluetooth module. You can use SC05 or BLE. 4.0 or any other Bluetooth module which you like is the best for you. The Bluetooth modules operate at 3.3 volt logic but we have directly connected to 5 volt logic. So here are 3 MOSFETs which are grounded at the source and this Arduino board needs 5 volt power supply. Okay, So for giving the 5 volts power supply to the Arduino we are giving the voltage from our laptop USB. So directly connect it to the computer for USB. And now this RGB LED strips requires 12 volts. So you can use a 12 volt external adapter or a 12 volt power supply. In my case, I am using a 12 volt 
power supply directly okay now you need to control this rgb led strip with bluetooth so in that case we have an android app i have given the link of this android app in the description you can download from the there so before doing this you need to turn on your bluetooth as the communication is between master and slave from bluetooth okay so scan the bluetooth so you will get sc05 or sc06 something like this click on this module and then just connect to the sc06 now here are nine different colors black is for turning off so if you click light blue it will give light blue color white low for white low orange for orange and red for red so you can control the color whatever you like so this is how beautifully an led strip can be controlled you can use this led strip by stretching it and decorating your house during christmas diwali or any other festival you like is the best for you now let us see the code so this is the code we have assigned pwm pins for red green and blue as 6 5 and 3 under the setup function we have defined all these pin as an output and we are reading the analog value from red green and blue and this line is for serial communication from the bluetooth module okay now we'll send some character to control different color for controlling white color we are sending w and red green blue range is given something different so for controlling green the mark is something like this for blue orange and violet all the different color are having different frequency range now just connect upload this port to your arduino board now in case if you want to control the led fading and drilling without the use of any bluetooth so make the connection like this simply remove bluetooth so once the code is uploaded the led will automatically start fading and changing color without the use of any bluetooth module so here is the code so simply upload this code to your arduino board if you like this video drop a like and subscribe my channel